and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video over there for some Sultai Con Cauldron. I almost said control. Sultai Cauldron. <laughs> All right, this deck is kicking off our Tuesday Brews Day stream. This is a new thing that we started last Tuesday where uh, we take rares and mythics that aren't seeing any play and build decks around them. So it's exciting, new decks. They're not always the best decks, of course, because we're taking cards that aren't seeing very much play. There's probably a reason for that. So we don't usually, we don't necessarily have the very best decks here, but they are fun and different and everything like that. So hope y'all like them. Um, if you're watching over on YouTube and you have ideas of other cards that you want me to build around for future Tuesday Bruise Day streams, let me know. We got Cauldron of Eternity up first here in Sultai. And then, as you can see over here, we're going to be doing a Pestilent Spirit Rakdos deck up next, which that one I'm really excited to play. We're doing that one. And then, after that, we got Demir Etrada. So, Etrada the Silencer. We're trying to build around that card. Um, this deck here, uh, we're you know, so we're building around Cauldron of Eternity. So, if you don't know the card, it's 10 BB. It costs two less to cast for each creature in your graveyard. So, if you have five creatures in your graveyard, then it only costs BB to cast. Whenever a creature you control dies, you have to put it on the bottom of your owner's library. So, whenever Cauldron's in play, whenever your creatures die, they don't go to your graveyard, they go on the bottom of the library. But you can pay two B tap and pay two life, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. You can only do that sorcery speed, but this is a way to be able to reanimate a lot of creatures. All right, so if we're reanimating a lot, so one, we want to we want to be able to put a lot of creatures in the graveyard because, um, you know, we need creatures in the graveyard to play Cauldron. Also, um, all of our creatures that die, they'll go back to the bottom of our library, so they're not going to go to the graveyard. So we want other ways to put creatures in the graveyard besides just creatures dying. So even whenever Cauldron's in play, we can still get stuff in the graveyard. Um, and then we also want really important really big impactful creatures to put from our graveyard to the battlefield. So that's the other part of this with the last part. So it, um, big impactful creature to put from a graveyard to the battlefield. There's nothing better than agent of treachery. So we got four of those. As far as putting creatures into the graveyard, um, one, we want to have a lot of creatures. We got 28 in here because, you know, we want just to have a lot of creatures to go with cauldron. We got glow spore shaman getting our creatures in there also kind of helping fix our mana a little bit um gorging vulture can put creatures into the graveyard oh yeah also lazav with the surveil one if it's a creature on top we can put it into the graveyard there uh, but the gorging vulture tomebound lich we get a little bit of looting if we like you know have the agent of treacheries in our hand that we don't want in our hand we can loot them away uh, we have cavalier of thorns that mills over five cards tamio it's tick up of course can mill over a bunch of cards Doom Whisper, we can pay life and surveil and get cards in the graveyard that way also. So lots of ways to get cards into the graveyard. Um, this this deck is, is certainly going to be really bad against Oko. Um, you know, Oko turning Cauldron into a 3-3. We're playing just a bunch of you know, creatures that can get, get turned into 3-3s. That's for sure. So that's that's worry number one with our deck. Worry number two is I'm, I'm worried that we're going to be a little too slow without without acceleration. Um, there just wasn't really acceleration that wanted to be playing. We have basically Risen Reef um, that can potentially get more lands into play. By by acceleration, I mean like you know having three mana on turn two or four mana on turn three, like that kind of stuff. But hopefully, just like the the power of our late game, like we have a really really powerful late game with four agent of treacheries and everything. Hopefully that gets us through it. Um, I am also yep sure as Kendis. I'm also a little worried about us milling out entirely. I didn't really want to put a Jason here. I thought about putting like a Loaming Shaman to reshuffle um, some cards. I, I thought about doing that, but you know, ended up not really making the cut. Um, and that's why I went down to only two Cavalier at first. You know, I started with like four Cavalier, a couple Doom Whisper, and playing. Um, under realm lich and all that kind of stuff but uh, i'm a little worried about that all right well let's get started um aggro you know i'm a little worried about aggro how i said how we're slow sideboard we got some healer of the glade and Crowl foragers for some life gain against aggro our spyglass of course is going to be for oko um i've got thought erasures as like my anti-control card that also you know can surveil and put stuff into the graveyard 
there. Um, an extra Golgari Queen. We're going with three Golgari Queens total because Golgari Queen kills Oko. This is like my main anti-Oko card in the main deck. Uh, a couple more Murderous Riders if we need to kill Planeswalkers over in the sideboard. Um, and then a Cavalier of Night, an extra one of those against aggro and against other creature decks. So let's see how this does. All right, so we're going to play a league here and see if we can get to five wins. We don't always get the five win marks with our... Um, uh, with our Thursday, Tuesday, Bruesday decks. All right, cool. So we got a donation to build around Kaikar Winds Fury, build around for Just Guy Flyers. Okay. Perfect. Thanks so much there, Candice. All right, so Just Guy Flyers with Kaikar. Or Thursday third. All right, I'll have that ready to go. Sure, we'll take a glow spore shaman. Glow Spore Shaman can pair really well with Risen Reef also. You know, like if you have five mana, you can like play Glow Spore Shaman, put a land on top, and then play your Risen Reef, put that land into play. All right, well, good, good mill overs. I'm glad we took the Shaman. Otherwise, we would have drawn this Agent of Treachery. I don't want to draw that card. So I can play a 3-3 three, three Embodiment already. But I think I go Tonebound Lich. I'm just not sure what I want to discard, like if we draw a land here, because we need, you know, we need more lands. Uh, temple. Hmm. I should probably keep the temple. And I like all four of these cards. Like, maybe it's Cavalier of Thorns? I guess it could be Embodiment, I guess. Embodiment's so good. Stand by and watch. No, I am not making this up as I go. Could have fooled me. If we mill all three cauldrons, I mean, we'll just attack our opponent with creatures. Is the main thing. Otherwise, Cavalier Thorns has the ability to get stuff back. Uh, we also have a Tamio that can get stuff back as well. We will meet again. Hmm. I'm going to keep Frasco. Yeah, it looks like my opponent's playing Bant Oko, unfortunately. Witness the ties that bind us all. But basically, yeah, we could If we would have just played Vraska to kill the Paradise Druid, then I wouldn't have Vraska to kill an Oko. 
You know, I didn't know that I was going to have a backup Braska at the time. But I need I need Braska to kill Oko. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. It's not poisoned. Trust me. You should leave. I grace you with it's my not lack often I'm of outmaneuvered. Presence. No, I don't have a plan here for this Nessa right now. Revel with your king. Wild and sovereign and free. That's not good. Yeah, all the videos get posted to YouTube. It just takes it takes a while for them to, to load, but for us. we'll be ready in thirty minutes or so. I invite you to change your ways. Admittedly, I was not expecting my deck to be Back to the shadows. For now. too good against the best deck in the format. But we still we got a shot here. We draw a land. We get to Asian a treachery. Steal Nissa before it ultimates. We can ultimate Nissa on our end if we want. We just gotta draw a land here. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Nissa's at eight. Uh, you said we're going to see nothing but ban Oko and Cavalcade once Field of the Dead rotates? That's not true at all. Why Why would you play Cavalcade against ban Oko? That's, that's like your worst matchup. People are not going to play Cavalcade anymore. That's not how you beat Oko. At all. Like, the aggro, like the, the white... Like, white is where people are going to go towards the aggro with Venerate, Luxodon, and tokens, and stuff like that. Come on, land. I grow bored with this fight. Bleh. Could have just taken that Nissa and ultimated it. We would have had a shot here. Now they get to ultimate. We don't really have a shot anymore. I guess I could have just had Tonebound Lich attack the Nissa to kill the Goose. Because I guess not having it on defense doesn't make a lot of sense. This isn't a fight you can win. Oh, I've done the hero thing okay. before. I mean, it's possible they take up Nissa again, but I probably need to steal Krasis anyway. At this point, like with after taking a hit.
Yeah, if I attacked, I would have killed the goose. Like they definitely would have blocked with the goose. Behold, okay, they did take up. Power. Okay, not very much attacking going on there. I'm not sure what we're supposed to steal, Nissa or Krasis. Like, it feels like Nissa. But then, how do I deal with the Krasis? I need the blocker. Yeah, basically Oko Oko does a great job of slowing the game down. The reason why Oko beats Cavalcade. Like food tokens gain a lot of life, of course, like oh, you know, that's that's over time, but then also Oko can just make 3-3 three, three blockers. It comes down so early. You know, it's it's turn two a lot of the time, and that's, you know, if not, it's turn three, and that's early enough. Usually, Oko decks are playing like a Boreal Grazer. You know, if you have like turn one a Boreal Grazer, turn two Oko, like it's just, it's just not a start that Mono Red's going to be beating very often. <clears throat> All right, so this is. This is like our worst possible matchup, unfortunately. Why is Arena acting so slow? I'm just trying to click on stuff. And it's like, you know, three seconds before I can click on something else. I believe Brawl starts on the 24th. As far as I know. Well, glad we have one land. That's cool. I mean, this is a cauldron deck, so it feels bad putting cauldron away, but we're, we're not really doing anything with the graveyard right now, and we have to put two cards back. So that's certainly a feel bad, but... Yep, I would agree there. Thoughts on Midnight Clock? I I don't really see how the card could be too useful, but 
you said you've been using Esper Control. It's been MVP, so you have a lot more experience with it than me. So you should be more you giving me your thoughts on Midnight Clock. Why? We will not fail. Why is it working? Like what? You. What is it doing? Is it? Is it ever actually more than just a? Um, more than just a mana rock. Go ahead. Oh, it's not often I'm outmaneuvered. Yeah, turn three Nissa stuff. Behold, nature's true power. Oh, the day is yours. Why wouldn't they just cast the Growth Spiral during their turn to see if they drew anything that they want to play with all this mana that they have with Nyssa? Why would they wait till my end step to play that? They didn't do anything else with their turn. They had lots of mana they didn't use. Open your heart to the magic that dances around. I mean, it doesn't really matter with them having Nyssa. It doesn't. If they can do whatever they want. Yeah, Vraska cannot kill lands. Destroying a land is not an option with Vraska. Destroy target non-land permanent. So that's why they held it up. All right, well, hopefully we play against something else. We talked about that going in. Um, you know, trying to build a cauldron deck. We're not going to have much success there against turn three Nyssa. Whenever we mold a five. That's not going to happen. So hopefully play against something else. You'd be correct, Navy SEALs. It is. All right, red deck. Fortunately, we have a very slow hand of turn 3, 1-1 one, one being our first play on the draw against the red deck. So that's pretty good. Um, can't see how we would lose with that scenario. Obviously, we, we need Risen Reef to hit a land. Like, that's that's what we need. We need this to hit a land so that we can have Cavalier Thorns the next turn. All right, looks like it's probably too slow anyway. But we need a green land in particular. Uh, nope. I guess Gorging Vulture does get to chomp the Spitfire, so that's 
That's okay. So yeah, the, the Vulture can chump the Spitfire at least. No, I don't have grazers in here. It's like this still puts us down to three. I guess Cavalier doesn't save us from dying when we're at three. Or two, I guess. All oh, right, the Spitfire one. I didn't, I didn't count the one damage from Spitfire. All right, life gain stuff. Rider says life link on it, so we're gonna put it in here. Cauldron just doesn't do anything for us. Like, you know, like we have to pay life to get a creature back. It just hurts for this matchup. Yeah, our opponents are not helping us out. Our opponents have had, like, their really ideal hands for sure. Okay, well, we actually we have a lot better hand here because we got a healer of the glade. Also, I could. Yeah, I could, like, shock to have healer of the glade on turn one, but that kind of defeats the purpose. I only have one black source. I kept I kept one cauldron in. we get there yeah embodiment has death touch and flying yep yeah call I mean said cauldron's bad unfortunately I mean it's it's not great but that's that's what we're trying here we're, tr we're going to try to make it work. You know, Etrada is not very good either. We're going to try to make it work, though. That's what Tuesday is about. Got to have faith. I want to do. I want to mill cards over first before we surveil. Really don't need to play that card, opponent. Really didn't need to play that card. Mm -hmm. 
All right, come on, five drop. Oh, gross. All right, yeah, usually it'd be done, but that was that was really fast for thirty minutes. Let's play one more match with our deck. Let's play one more match with our deck. Let's go over to traditional standard play. <laughs> I know our opponents. Our opponents just had such really like such good hands. You know, like just curving out, Spitfire, Torbrand, bunch of burn spells. It's like we're just struggling over there with like mulliganing and everything. No, we're just trying to play our jank here. Oh, well, we'll get to, so we're gonna play one more match with our deck, see, you know, see how it does. And then we'll get to Rakdo Spirit. That's a deck that I'm excited to play for sure. So yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, you know, those y'all here also, let me know if you're having any success with Cauldron. Cause I guess this build isn't working too well. I don't know exactly what to do with Cauldron, though. I think, I mean, I just kind of think that, like, our, our deck's probably not going to beat, like, the other top-tier deck's best hands, and that's what we've kind of been facing, is really good hands from our, from our opponents. And we're just not beating that. Kind of thing. Yeah, this is a complicated deck for sure. So, Tonebound Lich, do I discard Cavalier maybe? I want to get the second black black source in case I discard this island. Ooh. I can discard something else and then pick it back up with Tamiyo. I just have the one green for Cavalier right now. I'm going to discard the Cavalier. What is this deck trying to do? Uh, fill like We're trying to play Cauldron of Eternity, so we're trying to fill our graveyard. <clears throat> with creatures and get him back with cauldron So we need, so you're saying we need to use Karn to go fetch Cauldron and then animate it and then fling it at the opponent. That's how we should use Cauldron. Yeah, I know, right? Turn four, turn four fires drawn from dreams. <laughs> All we do is play against opponents that have drawn the nuts. That is it. Oh yeah, just just go ahead, command the Dreadhorde, take all of my cards. That's cool. That's real cool. So I guess I play Tamio and pick something up. I guess it would be the Cavalier.
they they can just the wait though until I play the Cavalier. Ugh. No tail should be you know, they, it's not like they have to play Command the Dread Horde this turn. Now my Tamiyo tick up's bad. I I should have just gone Risen Reef Shaman. Well, you know, play Shaman, put a land back on top, and then Risen Reef it. More data will be needed. Do not include you. Let's slow this down. Here goes nothing. I should have just done that last turn. Don't worry, I got this. Uh, is it good Grixis version? I don't. What? Truth what would red? Lies beyond. Why would red be better than green? The other version, I was thinking about doing Abzan and not playing blue, but they're basically the reason to play blue is because of Agent of Treachery and how good that card is. But I was certainly thinking about doing Abzan because Abzan would get you Kethys, and Kethys would make Cauldron cost less, also allow you to, like, if you play, like, a lot of legendary cards... Yeah, you, know, you can also like play the cauldron from your graveyard if you self mill it over and trying to go legendary route. Better to play embodiment. Yeah. No agent of treachery, unfortunately. I was hoping to mill over an agent of treachery and just be able to cauldron, put it into play immediately. I can potentially mill it over with the shaman. So I, I can play Shaman plus Cauldron plus Cyber activate Tech Cauldron here. next turn. Let me aid your research. Yeah, we need Muldratha. Is that the second card to play? No, they already played a card. Hmm. 
Surprising they let me kill two of their things. card I want to draw right now. Well, they took a lot of my stuff with Command the Dread Horde earlier. Where is Agent of Treachery? have mana anymore. That's unfortunate. Well, we're going to play our card. We haven't played it yet. At least We're at least going to play it. Okay, well, that was worth it. That was a sweet animation. That was cool. Please don't do anything though. Yeah, I couldn't I can't Lazav and have the mana to activate Cauldron. Cauldron costs three mana to activate, so I can't cast Lazav also. Milled over half of our deck and zero of four Agent of Treacheries. Half of our deck. This deck just doesn't want doesn't want me to win. I'm trying. Just doesn't want me to win. Do we even want these spy glasses? Maybe we don't. I think I think I don't. Twenty six creatures. I want to keep that creature count high. All right, here we go. <laughs> Energy plus food, historic deck. The food can give you energy. Uh, well, no blue mana right now. Yeah, the deck's probably secretly very good and fun, but Arena doesn't want us to know. Yeah, we haven't we haven't had an opponent that's had like anything close to a bad draw at all yet. Reef. 
Well, we got a good start. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, quite a quite a lot, monkey, but that's okay. I mean, that's what I'm here to answer questions. I, it's okay that I answer the same questions a lot of times. Contain your rage. Comes with the job, but um, so yes, yeah, for my thoughts on Pioneer, do they just not have turn four fires of invention? Just not. Pioneer looks very interesting, and it's. It's the format that Historic should be. Men Having Historic and Pioneer as a format, I, w I wish they were just the same. I wish they'd have... So basically what I'm saying is I wish they had, like, Pioneer on Arena. But it's not on Arena, so I don't think I'll ever play Pioneer. Hey, un unrelenting. Oh. We still haven't seen Agent of Treachery yet. So my opponent doesn't know that we're an Agent of Treachery deck, even though we got four of them. So half our library last time and none, and a whole bunch this time and still none. I'm going to write more about Pioneer um, over on Patreon here pretty soon, either either tomorrow or the next day. If I, have ta if I have time tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. Otherwise, the next day. Oh, I covered up that really cool animation. Cauldron! Yeah, you can't, you wouldn't be able to just add all of the sets from, like, all the, the possible sets that Pioneer is at. You would not just be able to add those to Arena. I know it would take them, it would take way too, like, that, that's, that's impossible. They can't just, ha they can't just add all of those sets immediately. And then, yeah, acquiring all those sets, all the cards from all those sets, that's, that's impossible also. I think that they, what they could do is have one set every two or three months 
every two or three months they could add add a you know add a set like going back because obviously they have to like work out like the bugs and everything and you know how they like to do their animations and all that kind of stuff <clears throat> it's not one mana short of tamio plus i understand that that's tough but maybe every every two or three months put one more set in and go back and then also you'd have make like you know make the sets draftable also and so obviously that would take years to get everything in pioneer on arena that'd still take years but that's what i'd recommend have you know you get to draft each set again and everything Okay. I don't really want my opponent to know that I'm going to tick up and look for Agent of Treachery necessarily. It is an honor to meet you. I follow the tracks of the wise. <clears throat> my prowess is unmatched by my peers. I have just the trick for this. Clarion. Not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with Agent of Treachery. None. I have reached my limit. hypothesis with you I have learned much from my ancestors all right so Okay, so we haven't really found Asian Treacheries yet. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, though. If we find them. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Killing my opponent's going to be kind of tough before milling out. I've got That's what I'm worried about right now.
you will find my notes helpful. Hmm. I wish I had a Jason here. <laughs> to the library. Just one. Let's try this. All right, so there's three more in the next 14, or next 12 cards. <clears throat> Responsibility. That's more like it. Yeah, this is this is a great matchup for Playcrafter. I don't think Playcrafter would be too useful in a lot of matchups, but like a play of a Jeskai Planeswalker control matchup like this. Um. This would be absolutely perfect. You just let me know if you're up for round two. All right, we're going to try to kill our opponent with Embodiment of Agonies. I assume it's big. It's only an 8-8. We have 23 cards in the graveyard. There's only eight different mana costs. Bleh. No tail should be discarded. Okay. So I was going to save these Thought Erasures, like, their draw step, you know, like, so because of Teferi, I had, I had draw step Thought Erasure. Um, and then, you know, if we need to cast both Thought Erasures, we could. If not, we could wait till the next turn to Thought Erasure again. And then I was going to grab Golgari Queen so Golgari Queen could, could destroy the... Um, the enchantment that was holding back my Doom Whisperer. All right, game three. Let's see if we can get a win. I'm getting an extra Golgari Queen because of these. Um, like maybe I want all the Golgari Queens. Yeah, we'll take out the just just take out the gorging gorging vultures. But if they have like those, they have those white enchantments. I want to destroy those with Golgari Queen. Obviously, we can take out Teferi and Narset as well. <laughs> yeah, we'll get Rakdos Spirit after this match, win or lose. Either way. All right, but our deck won a game. We got to do cool things with, with Cauldron. So success. 
Cauldron has a sweet animation, too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe our opponent has Ashiok. That would be bad. That would definitely be bad. This deck should be better with no... If people if people take out all their Ashioks, it should help this deck. Because, yeah, Ashiok is not good. Yeah, I don't really have time for that temple. We're going to have turn 2 Erasure, turn 3 Tonebound Lich, turn 4 Vraska, turn 5 Cavalier. I don't really want to tap land in any of those. Oh, I guess we're going to go turn 3 Risen Reef now. So Narset gets them more cards. And, you know, gives them good card selection and everything. Teferi can draw, like, one card. If they want to minus it. <laughs> it's all good. Sha, you're, you're good. Here we go. This might be a bad idea. Don't make another move. No, the cauldron. Here we go. So I don't think my opponent really has very much. But we'll just triple double check there. Only time will tell. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go ahead and sacrifice this Cavalier Thorns. It's not any good. It's just a 5-6. Put Cauldron back on top. I don't even know if that's a good play. I just want to draw Cauldron. Uh, nope, that does not look like a very good play. Uh, we got two creatures in the graveyard. Okay, okay. Not so bad. Never mind. We don't have two creatures anymore. <laughs> yeah, the triple double check. We got six times checked. Yeah, I could have grabbed Tamiya to be able to grab Cauldron. Like wind and wave, keep an open mind. Let's try this. Yeah, it turns out Command the Dread Horde's pretty busted. The storied past holds our future. Our time together is finished. I grow bored with this fight. That didn't work out. Hmm. 
you could use some training. That could have gone better. Uh, field has not been banned yet on Arena. That doesn't happen until the 24th. So we haven't seen a new metagame yet. Gets to do so much stuff. I wish I had a way to kill fires of invention, but I don't. I've suffered worse. I still have much to learn. Is their command the Dreadhorde's not looking so great right now? Here goes nothing. Yeah, they 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 drew a Fey of Wishes that command the Dreadhorde uh, just a ton of stuff and made us losing, basically. Um, yeah, Cauldron's not not in the the best spot in this this metagame with like Oko and everything cauldron's kind of rough but it's really cool the animation's awesome i like it as a card So stealing Fae of Wishes doesn't matter. I could steal Fires of Invention, but then they have Teferi bounce the Fires of Invention and they can replay it and everything. I think it's actually best just to steal the Teferi. And bounce Fires of Invention. Because if I if I take the fires, they get to draw they get to draw a card with Teferi bouncing it, but taking Teferi that means I draw the card with bouncing it. I guess they get to do this instant speed now because of Teferi, though. Well, I didn't. I could have cast well, Cauldron. I did not cast Cauldron because of. I didn't want it to get. Casualties of Ward before we got any value from it. Behold. Obviously, that did not work out. Remember your nightmares remain. Hmm. 
Mm. Nothing works. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Your lack of fear. I was thinking I don't want the I don't want them to just to exile the land also, but obviously I needed to fetch first. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't work out. But at least we got the one game with Cauldron of Eternity. That was cool. This study is over. Yeah, I tried to find Thought Erasure to steal the casualties of war there. I know. Opponent's so rude. We had no removal for fires of invention over here. No, embodiment gets counters. It doesn't die. It, it, it's not a number that fluctuates. Whatever it is, whenever you play it, is what it is. I, I would cast it if I could, um, you know, cost 12 mana. I don't, I don't have 12 mana. They could command and get Ashiok back. Yeah, so far so good. Well, I mean, our Soul Tide deck has been kind of rough, but I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the Demir deck to be kind of rough also. But the Rakdos deck is certainly the one I'm looking forward to playing the most. We're gonna play that one up next after this match. Hopefully, we get a win here, though. We pick up a win, but it's it's really hard for me seeing us winning this. But hopefully, we do. Aw, oh, they mill themselves, mill me. It's a yeah, it's a Rakdos deck built around Pestilent Spirit. The focus and hone your prowess. Command the Dreadhorde should finish this up. This is just pretty awesome for our opponent to have all these interplanar beacons. Gain them millions of life too. This one, this game looked really great for us until, you know, it was, I think it was turn six, maybe turn seven. No, I'm pretty sure it was turn six. Yeah, like, my opponent had nothing in hand. All they had was, like, a Fires of Invention, and it was looking really good for us. But then they drew a, a Fey of Wishes, which, you know, with Fires, they just went Fey, go grab Command the Dreadhorde, and they just got tons of stuff. And then it all went away. 
It was good until that. Being ruthless has its before action. All right, let's move on. All right, so a couple of things about the deck. We knew we were going to be weak to Oko. And that was the case. Turns out, like, the, the other decks in the format, whenever they have really good hands, they're just more powerful than us. Our opponents had a lot of good hands, a lot of good draws. We didn't we didn't face too much stumbling at all. Um, we had one really strong hand of, like, turn three, Risen Reef, turn four, Ca Cavalier Thorns, and go from there. And we got to Cauldron and everything. That was the game we won. Our, our opponent stumbled a little bit, I guess. They didn't they didn't have just like the best hand. Well, I don't know. Like they had they had like fires on turn four and had like seven cards. But we we had a lot better hand that time. Um But yeah, like the Oko the Oko stuff's tough. Right now still the Field of the Dead's still legal, so everybody still has Ashiox in their deck, but whenever people take out Ashiox, that will be a uh that'll be a big help for Cauldron of Eternity. Because obviously Ashiok's not really beatable. Um, but still, the, the Simic decks. It's just tough to play a deck like this with the Simic decks. But oh well. We built around Cauldron of Eternity. And we got to see the animation. And that was really cool. Did like the Cauldron animation. Um, but deck's still rough around the edges there. Yeah. <laughs> Simic beating the Oko decks with a deck like this would just be really tough. That's that's the problem with playing this right now. Um, but, you know, never know. Maybe next month, maybe Oko gets banned, and then you can start playing decks like this again. But if you're watching on, on YouTube, I hope you still enjoyed the deck. And uh, if so, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And let me know what you, what you think about it. And also, if you're playing Call Dream Eternity yourself, in a different shell, let me know how it's going and, and you know feel free to share your deck list over there. But alright, Tuesday Bruise Day has two more decks to play. So hope to see you for those videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.